I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Well, it's a shortened trading week. Markets are closed on Friday for the 4th of July holiday. And despite the continued pressures on cannabis stocks, investors continue to pour money into the companies, but only specific companies. And it seems to be the ones that have consistent revenue and solid earnings. Innovative Industrial Properties announced a $225 million offering. The underwriters have the opportunity to buy an additional 400,000 shares. Grow Generation also priced their offering. They raised $42 million. They had originally only planned to raise $35 million. Bang reported their earnings this week. The company said that they had revenue in 2019 of $4.7 million. They also reported net losses in 2019 of $15 million. We had some news from the pharmaceutical side of the industry. GW Pharmaceuticals outlined their strategy for their cannabis drug, Sativex. They plan to use it as a treatment for MS spasticity, PTSD, and spinal cord injuries. Unfortunately for Zenerva, they had to report that their study trial for their drug, Zygel, was not producing enough positive results for the treatment of Fragile X syndrome. Cresco Labs and Innovative Industrial Properties announced their deal in a Massachusetts property. This is the fifth one that Cresco Labs has sold to IIP and then leased back. Harborside said that they will not be able to report their earnings on time. They expect to get a cease trade order that won't be lifted until they report those earnings. And finally, HBO Max has become the latest production company to align themselves with a cannabis product as a marketing tool. They will be launching an animated show called Close Enough. It will begin streaming on July 9th, and they have aligned with a company called Thunderstorm's Kana Cannabis-Infused Gummies. Each one of those gummies is going to have a product that is based on a particular character. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Marker Report.